All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about what is a domain name and how do you get one. So there's two places I usually use to get uh, domains, and that's either GoDaddy, which pretty much everyone has heard of. The other one, which I actually like better and it's not as well known to the general public, is called Namecheap. And they have better prices and better deals, and you know, I just I kind of get most of my domains that I get brand new with Namecheap. Okay, but you can also use GoDaddy. You can use anyone else. You can use any what's called a domain registrar, and it's basically a company that kind of you know is able to sell domain names to people. Okay, so what actually is a domain name? It's basically the name of your website. All right, so if we go to Twitter.com. The name of this website is twitter.com. That's the domain name. Now the actual website is this right here. Okay, but their domain name is twitter.com. All right, whatever you pick for the name of your website, that's your domain name. It's basically the name of your website. You could do, you know, uh, Twitter dot agency, and your your domain name would be Twitter dot agency. Now, obviously, you wouldn't want to do that because they have Twitter trademarks, and you'd probably get sued. Uh, but the point is, whatever your domain name is, that's what the name of your website is, and that's how people get to your website. All right. So I'm gonna actually register a website now and show you how it's done. I'm gonna do it through Namecheap because again, that's who I recommend. They have the best prices. Uh, they're just easy to use, great for you beginners, and that's who we're gonna use. So what I'm gonna do is just type in a domain name that I wanna get. So we're doing the complete beginner workshop, right? So what I'm gonna do is I wanna see is complete beginner workshop.com. That's what I want to get. Usually when I register domains, I either get .com, .net, or .org, and I usually like to get .coms uh, if possible. That's mainly what I what I get. So I recommend you do the same thing. Now, completebeginnerworkshop.com is available. So if I want to get this domain, I add it to my cart and I buy it. It's going to cost me $8.88 a year. All right. Now what I want to do is show you what happens when a site is not available. So let's go, we know twitter.com is already taken. So if I go and try to get twitter.com, it's gonna say taken, okay? We can make an offer for it, it might cost us a few billion dollars, we probably can't afford it. And you can see all these other extensions are all taken, it will show you, you know, um, it will show you all the, the ones that are taken and all that. And you can see these are all taken because Twitter probably went out and got them all because they're a super huge company. All right, but that's if it's not available, it will say taken. All right, and you can make an offer on it if you want. Obviously, we're not gonna make an offer on Twitter.com, but usually you just want to find something that's actually available. So I'm gonna go back to complete beginner workshop.com. All right, and let me do my search again. And this domain again is available. It has a check mark next to it. Good to go. I'm gonna add it to my cart. Now I'm going to view my cart, and right here you can uh, ex you can know uh, do you want to do you want to do do you want to register for one year, two year, three, four, five? You can go all the way up to ten. We're just going to do one year. This is just an example site. So then I would just do confirm order. It's going to cost me nine dollars and six cents for a year registration for this domain name. Okay, which basically will be that will be the name of my website. So. Make sure you pick what you want because this is how you're going to tell people to get to your website. You're going to say, hey, my website is completebeginnerworkshop.com. And so I'll say, oh, okay. Let me go in and type completebeginnerworkshop.com. Then your website will appear. Of course, for us, nothing will appear yet because we have to go out and get hosting. We have to connect our hosting. We have to put up a website. That's all coming next. But let me confirm my order. And what it's going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pay now. I have money in this account that I'm buying it from already, so it's going to be a quick process. You may have to check out with PayPal or a credit card or whatever you want to use. As you can see, it's now processing zero out of two items complete. It's just we're registering. You know, this is going to about to be our domain name. Processing still. This usually takes 10 seconds or so. All right, and we're good to go. We now have our domain name registered. It costs us $9 a year, okay? This is now our domain name. We own this, all right? No one else can do anything with this domain name but us now. Now, someone could go register completebeginnerworkshop.net. That's a different domain name. We registered completebeginnerworkshop.com, okay? So let's go back to Namecheap. 
and let me type in complete beginner workshop.net okay now this is a completely different website because the extension is .net not .com so it's a different location it's a different domain name we see that's available still okay so sometimes like people will build a brand and they'll register the .com, the .net, the .org. You saw with Twitter, they register everything. So they register all the domain extensions to kind of protect their brand, all right? In our case, we don't care. We just want to get the one, all right? We already got our complete beginner workshop.com. That's all we wanted. But I just want to make sure you understand what a domain name is and how it works, all right? We own complete beginner workshop.com. That's the name of our website now, or that's actually our domain name. It will be the name of our website once we put it up, and that's how people will get to our website by typing that in to the address thing up here. All right, and now if I go type in completebeginnerworkshop.com, it should say taken. I don't know how quick they uh, they do that, but it should say taken now. It says available, but it's not. So if we try to add this to cart and purchase it, it will say it's not available. All right, within I don't know a couple hours, this will say taken. But this this web this website's taken. All right. So our website is now registered. Uh, it's registered with Namecheap. So to manage our domain name, we want to we would log into Namecheap, okay? Because you create a Namecheap account and then you log into Namecheap and then you can go manage your domain name. All right. So right here you can see next now that I have it, I can click on manage. Type it in here. These are all old domain names here. So complete. Here it is right here. So here's my domain name. You see, I had a ton of domains in there. I think I have like 500 plus domains in here. So let's go next. To, we click manage next to it. And this is kind of what the dashboard looks like once you log into your Namecheap account, which is free to get. It's free to get an account, and then of course you got to buy the domains. And this is what it looks like. This looks all confusing, right? All you're going to worry about using is right here all right and i'll go into that in a little bit but it's called a dns and it actually stands for domain name server and this is how you connect your hosting to your domain name now hosting i'm going to cover in the next video we'll get into that and we'll get everything connected don't worry i know it seems uh scary and technical and you don't have to understand any of this i don't understand most of it I just all you got to understand is how to register a domain name and then that's all you got to do okay so you can get a Namecheap account or you can get a GoDaddy account if you want to get a GoDaddy create your account then you can register your domain name and that domain name will then be yours this is now my domain name all right see you on the next video